टू अचीव एनी गोल हार्ड वर्क एंड स्मार्ट वर्क बोथ गो हैंड इन हैंड एंड आउ वट डज इट मीन वेन आई से दिस इट मीन्स वर्किंग हार्ड ऑन वॉट ट्रूली मैटर्स टू क्लियर एनी एग्जाम ऑफ लाइफ वी नीड टू वर्क हार्ड स्मार्टली इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो I will be talking about how to prepare for exams smartly. What are the key rules to clear any exam? So before starting the video, let me introduce you myself. I am Rachna Sharma and you are watching Food Tech Geeks where we talk about various aspects and fundamentals of food science and technology. So in this video, I will be discussing about five most important key rules which are very important to clear any exam and our focus will be on food technology exams so without wasting much time let's start the video so the number 1 is you should have a strong command over your basic concepts you should have a very strong foundation now why is this very important let me explain you this with a very simple analogy you all must have noticed in the kitchen like whenever we make any dish there are certain spices which are to be added in each and every dish no matter what type of dish we are making but there are certain spices which are very common and basic in each and every dish and without adding those particular spices our dish is not completed so the same thing goes with these exams also for each and every exam for example if i talk about food technology there are certain basic books which make the base of each and every food technology exam and they are common for all the exams so it is very important for any food technology aspirant to go through those books and to have a basic strong foundation over the con concepts of food technology and now there are a lot books for food technology and also i have made a video in which i have talk about some of the most important common books which a food technology student should have you can check them in the description box i have given the link of that video so if you are preparing for any exam of food technology just make sure that once you go through all those basic books have a strong foundation and have a strong command over the basic concepts of food technology then attempting any exam of food technology will be very easy for you so the second number point is practicing questions and mock tests after going through the basic books it is very important to practice from the books having those mcqs and those type of questions which are expected to come in your exam and to go through the mock tests previous year question papers are a very important part of your exam preparation now why this is also important so let me explain you this also with the same previous analogy suppose some guests are expected to uh, visit your house and you are preparing a dish for them so you make the dish with uh, so much efforts and you want to make that perfect but before serving it to the guests you once taste it by yourself to get assured that yes everything is being perfect in the dish every spice is up to the mark nothing uh, is less or more in the dish so the same thing goes with your exam preparation also you have gone through a lot of basic books you have made your foundation strong you had cleared your concepts but before going to your final exam before sitting for your exam you should have that assurance that yes you are completely uh, confident about your preparation and that confidence come by practicing questions and mock tests and the previous year question papers so if you are preparing for your any exam just don't neglect in practicing questions and mock tests they are very important part of your exam preparation the next important point is keep yourself up to date with all the activities the concerned organizations are taking because uh, in the exams in the competitive exams the questions are asked around the recent affairs going on so we know that food technology is a very uh, dynamic subject every time a new amendment or a change is being done in the rules and regulations and the laws so it is very important to keep yourself up to date with all the changes so recently fssci has drafted so many changes in the food labeling and recently uh, it is in the news that fssci is also working over the limits of trans fats it has been uh, cut down to 3 from 5% and by 2022 it has been targeted to reduce the amount of trans fat to 2% so 
you need to get yourself up to date with all these changes and also you must have heard that fssi is also trying to change the logo for non vegetarian foods uh, why it has done so because uh, the both the symbols for the vegetarian and non vegetarian foods were same like a green uh, a dot in the square box so it created a lot of problem for the color blind people to identify the both so for their convenience fssi has drafted to change the logo for non vegetarian foods and now i want you guys to answer this question in the comment box that what is the new logo for non vegetarian foods let us see how many of you are up to dated with the actions taken by fssci so let me know into the comment section that what is the new logo drafted by fssci for non vegetarian foods so after this point there is number fourth point which says be thorough with data and statistics so we know that there are various organizations in our country which are working for food safety food technology which are related to agriculture and food industries so you need to get thorough with the statistics and data of all these organizations like for example what is the position of india in milk production which state has highest production of milk or rice or pulses like what is the export of india per annum which uh, fruit we export the most or which fruit we import so all these data you should have the knowledge of all these because these are asked in exams so try to um, yes i know that um, remembering all these data is not um, easy and is not feasible also but just try to remember the basic and important points like india is number 1 in production of these these uh, fruits and vegetables so you should know about all these what which state has the highest production of milk which state has the highest production of cereals or wheat or rice or uh, any pulses so you should know those particular ranks and those data so they are very important with a view of competitive exams now the last final and the most important is keep your preparation around the syllabus like every competitive exam has a certain syllabus like they their exam revolves around certain topics so you need to keep your preparation around those uh, topics only for example if we talk about food safety officer exam so they talk about most of the rules and regulations of fssci so you should have that understanding you should prepare accordingly if you are preparing for any entrance exam like for say you are preparing for food and nutrition entrance exam so the syllabus will be around more nutrition biochemistry uh, fruits and vegetables so you should keep your preparation around that topic only so before starting preparation for any exam you first sit down and see the syllabus and then start your preparation because uh, sticking towards the syllabus is very important to crack any exam so these were the five most important key rules which are very important for any food technology aspirant to know and to work hard smartly remember this thing that working hard or working smartly individually doesn't help you you need to use both these factors together to achieve success and i want to complete this video with a saying which says success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out which means that success do not come by the hard work or the smart work of just one day it is the process which takes a lot of time you need to do effort day in and day out continuously only then you get success so with this i want to wind up this video i hope that it will help you a lot in your preparations and if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and your classmates and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because uh, statistics are showing that 82% of the people who are watching this video haven't yet subscribed to the channel so please subscribe to the channel it's all for free it is not going to charge you anything so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel till then stay safe stay healthy thank you